Hello Glamours and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell for more upcoming DIY future videos. For this DIY, I'll be creating two lighting home decor using candy heart shaped boxes and candy wand tubes. If you would like to find out what I created, just continue watching. My first DIY, I'll start off with using two medium sized heart shaped candy boxes and I'll start by removing the wrapper and the candy from inside. And don't forget to follow me on my Facebook group, the link below, where you may feel free to share your posts, links, and also creative ideas, link below. For the remainder of this DIY, I'll be using my strongest glue sticks. Next, I'll be gluing together two of the medium size and one of the small sizes. Next, I'll take all three pieces and I'll place them in the position that I desire and then I'll take a long ruler and draw a straight line so I won't lose my placement. Here I place my line, I'll be inserting a long rod through both hearts. I'll be using my solder and iron and where I place my lines on each end of the heart I'll be cutting out a hole. If you experience any lifting, easy solve, just apply hot glue, hold it in place a little bit and let it dry. And don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms link below. Once I cut out all my holes, I'll be inserting the rod into both hearts. Once I was sure of my fit and the position that I wanted my hearts, I took them all outside and spray painted two coats of metallic silver. Next I'll apply hot glue following the outline of each heart and this will prevent when it's time to apply my application from any spilling. Next, I'll be using red glitter glue and clear school glue. I'll start off with the red glitter glue and I'll apply it on top of the heart only on one half and I'll apply a generous amount. And then I'll smooth it out using a sponge brush. If you're planning to recreate this project, just keep in mind that you may apply your clear school glue and red glitter glue in any pattern and design you like. And as you can see, the glitter glue and the school glue is not spilling over and that's because the outline of the hot glue.
Once that was done applying both glues, I'll apply clear crushed glass on top of the entire heart. And for extra shimmering, I'll apply red glitter on the red side of the heart. On the clear side of the heart, I'll apply silver glitter. On the small heart, all I did was apply clear school glue, silver glitter, and then red glitter, and then crushed glass. So I was done, I let all three dry overnight. Next, I'll bring back my wooden rod and I cut it to 22 inches and I'll be using a five inch plastic bolt and all I did was turn it upside down, place the rod on top and traced it with a marker and I traced a circle in the center. To cut out the circle, I'll be using my solder and iron. I'll be placing my rod in the center to make sure it has a snug fit. Next I took foam board and I cut it to size and then I'll be placing it on top and applying hot glue around the edges. And just for FYI, I'm just creating the base for my lamp. Next I took a generous amount of hot glue and placed it inside the hole and then I'll be placing my rod inside and hold it in place until it dries. Once it was dry, I applied two coats of metallic silver spray paint. While my base is drying, I took strips of mirror mosaic tiles and started applying them around the edges of each heart. Once my base was dry, I'll start inserting my hearts back in place one at a time and gluing them in place as I go. On the smaller heart, I took two skewers and I spray paint them in metallic silver and then I apply hot glue to hold it in place. Then I insert it on the side of the heart and back in position and I also added mirror mosaic tiles in the center to cover up the hole. Next, I'll be using wire fairy lights and all I did was took the lights and glued them on the inner edges of the hearts and I glued the battery pack on the back side. Unfortunately, I did lose the footage, but here it is with the lights on. For my second DIY, I'll be starting off with four of the smaller hearts and I'll be repeating the same unpackaging steps and gluing steps. Instead of the four hearts, I will only be using three. Once that was done, I spray painted two coats of metallic silver. I also repeated the same steps with applying hot glue around the outline of each heart. I also repeated the same steps with the glue and the glitter and the crushed glass. For the base of my lamp, I'll be starting off with two candy heart wands and I'll be removing the plastic heart. I'll be using both clear tubes and these tubes are very strong and I'll be cutting out the hole on one only and I'll be using my solder and iron. Once I was done cutting the holes on just one of the tubes, I'll take them both tubes and I'll attach them together and they really hold a snug fit with no glue required. I also took a 5 inch bowl and cut out the center to fit the tube.
I also repeated the same steps with a foam board cut to size and a gluing steps and I also gave it two coats of metallic silver. I also took wire fairy lights and because they are too long I fold them in half and then I insert them inside the tube. I also repeated the same steps by applying a generous amount of hot glue inside the hole and I attached in my tube. Next I'll be taking all three hearts and I'll be gluing them onto the tube. I took a balancing ruler and I placed it on the side of the base so as I'm gluing the hearts that it would not roll over. I apply a generous amount of hot glue and then I'll start sticking my hearts onto the tube in a staggering position. I forgot to mention on both lamps on the base I added mirror mosaic tiles around the edges. And here is the base of the lamps with the lights on. I'll be using this lamp shade from a previous project that I have made before and I'll have videos linked below on how to make them. And for lighting I use two remote LED touch lights. And here is the finished looks on both DIYs. I love the way both lamps turned out and what I love the most is the ombre effect and all the shimmering. And now you have an idea of what to do with those empty candy heart shaped boxes, turn them into beautiful home decor. And keep in mind that these lamps can be recreated in any color of your choice. And what can we say about the beautiful lighting and all the shimmering that will bring into that special room in your home. This is a great and beautiful way to bring that extra spark into your Valentine's. And remember, just because they are hearts, they're not only meant for Valentine's. You may use them for weddings, anniversaries, or any other special occasions. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy both DIYs as much as I enjoy creating them. Now, don't forget, I post new DIY videos every week. Like and share with family and friends, and subscribe if you haven't. Comment if you wish. Turn on your notification bell for more upcoming future videos. I'll see you on my next DIY upload.